we have three mics set up here for you to hear. And what I want to do is make sure you have an idea of what our different mic types sound like on our overheads and how they can affect or color your sound. So we're starting off with another 4047, just because that's our reference. So we have that here. In the middle is an AKG 451B small diaphragm condenser. And on the outside is an Audio-Technica AT4080 ribbon mic. You know what the 4047 is going to sound like. The small diaphragm condenser, and this is a typical difference between a, a large and a small diaphragm condenser, is a small diaphragm is going to be faster. It's going to have better transient response. Better is probably the right, wrong word. Well, no, it will have better transient response. Whether or not you want that is a whole different story. They'll usually be a little bit brighter. They'll be very articulate. Whereas the large diaphragm, they're slower, so they smooth things out a little, tend to be a little more focused in the low mids, a little fuller sounding, which I really like. Then the ribbon, those are my favorites. You're going to hear that right away. It's going to be beefy in the low mids. It's going to be really smooth on the top, but it's going to be really full sounding. All three of these microphones can produce one heck of an overhead sound. What you need will depend on your music, depend on your taste, that kind of thing. I want to make sure that you can hear the difference here so you get a good idea. Maybe you already own these types of mics. Maybe you're looking to add something new, and now you'll get an idea of what they sound like. We'll hear them on their own, then we'll add our kick and snare in. Do a little more playing? Sure. See you in the control room. All right, Hal, let's just do a kick, snare, and hat groove. And what we're going to do, we're going to start out with our 4047 so we have a reference. Give me a two-bar phrase with a little tom fill at the end of every two bars, all right? Here we go. Familiar sound. Now we'll go to the 451. Brighter. Hats come out right away. Cymbals, definitely faster. You can hear more articulation. Oh, for the ribbon. Snare comes out more. The hi-hat and the high end sub actually moves back, and the toms are fat. 4047. 451. 4080. Uno, due, tre. Okay, so now let's hear what these sound like with our kick and snare mic, because they're all going to have a very different effect on the drum sound. And this is really neat where you can start shaping your drums to fit the music. And if you don't have a ribbon or a small diaphragm or a large diaphragm, you know, maybe look for one. You know, there's some great mics out there that don't cost a lot of money that'll help you get your sound. All right, Hal, let's do four bar kick snare hat, four bar tom, and loop that, okay? Here we go. It's our 4047 overhead. We're going to go to the 451. Totally different articulation from the toms and especially the cymbal. Ribbon. Now we have a little dark, but full. One, two, three, four. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so the, the things that I want you to take out of this is first is the height of your overheads. Placement is, of course, important, but I want you to, whatever you have at home available to you, whether you have some small diaphragms, whether it's a ribbon, large diaphragm, whatever you have and use as your overheads, I want you to take that one mic, just one of them, put it over there, and I want you to go up, down, up, down, and learn how that sounds. Maybe stick a kick and a snare up there so you can see how it works in your room. Maybe you have tall ceilings, short ceilings, wide room, narrow room, whatever. I want you to experiment with that and see what it sounds like. The next thing I want you to think about is what type of mic goes on the overhead. There is no one fits-all fits size here. 
I know maybe starting out you can only get a few microphones, which is great, so whatever you have is killer, but as you start learning more, think about maybe, okay, I've got a pair of small diaphragms that I really dig, but I love that beefy sound, so I'm gonna look at my next set of mics so I might get a ribbon or a pair of ribbon mics so I can add a new color. And then do the same thing. Take one, raise it up, raise it down, and get to know how that sounds. You're looking for proximity and air, as well as trying to capture a full sound, everything represented well with that one microphone. Then when you spot mic it, your sound's only gonna get better. I have these hard panned left and right. And the cymbals are definitely not way over here and way over here. They're about right here.